hey guys welcome back I am the vegan Katie and welcome to my channel today I will be trying the McDonald's McRib sandwich well I'm going to create a plant-based version of McDonald's McRib sandwich um, let me just say this I have never had the McRib sandwich but always wanted to try it so I'm going to create my version of it and I'm going to tell you what I think of it okay so I will be using the sweet uh, barbecue riblet by Morningstar. Okay, um, I have some barbecue sauce, the um, pickle slices, and then a white onion. Those are the ingredients. They're very simple. So let's get into it. Okay, so you have two options. You can either use the oven or you can use the microwave. I choose to use the oven because it's a lot healthier. Um, so it says to remove from the package, place on a tray. You're gonna cut some slits in it, okay? Get some slits in it, and then you're gonna place it on a tray, on a sheet as I did. And then you're gonna put it in a so you're going to preheat the oven to 375 so you're going to cook for uh, you're going to bake it for 30 minutes and then let it sit for two minutes to let it kind of cool off a bit and then once i've done that i'll be right back okay guys that that you have a close-up okay guys what does it look like so i'm going to take my french bread okay so i'm going to open that up so I forgot I have my own sauce. I had I bought my own sauce just in case there wasn't enough in the container. But I think there's it's more than plenty there. So I'm going to take some of this out with a spoon. I think it might be enough, maybe. Oh, it's supposed to be on the bottom bread, but whatever. I'm doing on both. So there's some sauce only on the bottom because the rest has to go on the ribs itself. So I guess once you put on the ribs, well there's some on the top, so that'll take care of the top of the bread. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna break mine up. That's what it looks like so far. Okay, so. Add a couple pickles. There was only two pickles on there, and you can add as many as you like. But there's two, so I'm gonna try it the way they made it. And then if I think I need more of something, I will add that. So that's one pickle. And that's two. some white onions. I like onions. So this all I'm gonna add. Mm -mm. There it is, guys. So now, the taste test. Okay, guys, taste test. I'm just gonna break it in half. So I can get it. Mm. It's pretty good. It's a barbecue sandwich. I thought it was something. 
is special, but this is really a sandwich. That red blend is, mm. There's a lot of flavor packing to it, I'm telling you. It tastes like a rib. It's really good, I enjoy it. Mm. It's very good, the onions, the pickles, it all goes so well together. I don't think I ever, I don't think I would have ever put um, pickles on a barbecue sandwich. But it's really good, not bad at all. My onion fell. Mm. The barbecue sauce is really good. I think it's called a, a sweet, what is it called? A sweet barbecue riblet. The, the sauce is really good. It's a sweet sauce, as stated, but it, ha it has a lot of flavor to it. It's really good. It's really good. So, if you guys have tried the, um, this the barbecue riblet. I was gonna say Magria. <laughs> okay, so if you tried the uh, the barbecue riblet, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you like the product or not, or if you're gonna try the Magria. Let me know, and then give me your thoughts on it. I hope you guys enjoy watching me put together this really good barbecue Magria sandwich. Um, I enjoyed it. Those are my thoughts. Nine, let me see, a one out of ten. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to give it a nine. It was a pretty good uh, rib. Good substitute. Hope you guys enjoy watching. I'm the Vegan Kitty.